In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect homepage for your website so not only you can dominate Google local search results for your targeted keywords, but also convert your visitors into customers. Just so you understand how powerful this is, I will be using real life examples of pages I personally built for some of my clients and share with you the results they are getting. I will go through step by step what you should include on your homepage and how to optimize it so you can achieve the same results for your own business. There is a fair amount to cover, so if you are ready, let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Luc Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. Before we get started, why don't you subscribe and click on the alert notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Your homepage is undoubtedly the most important page of your website because A, it's likely to be the most visited page from which you will be making a first impression and B, the vast majority of links pointing to your website will be pointing directly to your homepage, giving it a lot of weight and authority in Google's eyes. That is why you should pay special attention to it so you can capitalize on its value. A well-crafted homepage can land you some great results. Here is an example from a client who I have been working with for just a few months, a carpet cleaner located in London. His homepage currently ranks for almost 130 keywords. If I look at the keyword breakdown, I can see that although we have only been working together for a short period of time, he already ranks in the top 10 for some very relevant keywords and many others are rapidly moving upwards. Let me show you another example from a client I've been working with for several years now, an electrician also based in London. Although his homepage ranks for less keywords, many of them hold the number one spot ahead of much bigger businesses, and he also ranks for many other keywords in the top 10 results. Neither of these homepages have a huge amount of links pointing to them, and yet they do rank very well in Google search results, and this is simply because of how they have been created. Before I go any further, I must point out that when I refer to rankings in this video, I do not talk about where your business appears in Google Maps, but instead in Google search results. Although rankings in Google Maps is great, it is limited to a certain distance based on your business location. Proximity is a huge part of the Google algorithm, which means the further from your business location someone is searching, the lower your business will rank. If I look at my electrician's website, for example, he ranks extremely well for the keyword emergency electrician in Google Maps within a few miles of his location. But as you move further away, you can see rankings drop. The beauty of ranking in what I would call classic Google results is that you can extend your reach significantly and rank beyond your local area. Someone looking for emergency electrician London, for example, will find my client's homepage ranking at the top of Google search results, even if they are further away from his business location, giving him the chance to capture more customers. Try searching for that keyword yourself from wherever you are and see what kind of results you get. And that's the power you can unleash using your homepage. Time for me to show you how to do that, starting with the most important decision you need to make. Choosing which service you want to focus on. As a business, you provide many services, but there is always going to be one that I would label as primary. This is the service that your business is known for or the most profitable one. This is a service you want to optimize your homepage for, so you can rank for your targeted keywords. If you look at my electrician example, you can see his homepage is optimized for Emergency Electrician London. Although he clearly offers many other services, Emergency Callout is the most profitable service for him, and that's why his homepage is optimized for this. And sure enough, he is number one for terms such as Emergency Electrician London, 24-Hour Electrician London, and more. Same principle for my carpet cleaner's homepage. Although this client offers many cleaning services, carpet cleaning is his bread and butter, so his homepage is optimized specifically for that service. As a rule of thumb, I would recommend that 80% of the content that sits on your homepage is related to your primary service and 20% for the rest. Moving on to our next item, your domain name. Your domain name is directly associated with your homepage and when it comes to local search results, it plays a significant part in rankings. How? If your domain name includes keywords related to the service you're targeting, you are more likely to rank for it. Looking at my carpet cleaning client's homepage, you can see the domain name associated with it clearly includes the service he is targeting and for good measure, his location as well, London. Although an exact match is likely to help a great deal, it doesn't have to be, and even a partial match will be helpful, like in the case of my electrician whose domain name only includes the word electrician and no reference to emergency. 
This is useful to know for those of you who are starting out and are unsure about what domain name to use. I wouldn't recommend changing an existing one if it's been live for a while. Next stop, your homepage meta title. If you are new to SEO and don't know what the meta title of a page is, here is a simple explanation. The meta title is the title of a web page that shows in search engine results as well as the pages tabs in browsers. To see the full meta title of a page, just hover on the tab in the browser and the whole title will appear. Google uses this as a ranking signal, so once again, use it to optimize your page towards your primary service by adding your keyword to it, like in this example, Emergency Electrician London. Google will show the first 50 to 60 characters of a title tag in search results, so try keeping it within those boundaries. If you have enough room, feel free to add more relevant keywords in line with your main keywords. So in this case, I was able to add another couple of keywords such as 24 hour and no call out fee. Time to move on to your page structure and more specifically, your page heading. You should structure the content of your page using HTML headers. Whether you are using WordPress, Wix, Squarespace or any other platform, headers are easy to implement and are default options in most content management systems. Ranging from header 1 being the most important header to header 6 being the least important, they have two major advantages. They make your page easier to read and digest for your visitors, but are also used by Google to help rank your page. Including keywords in header will therefore also contribute to your page visibility in search engines. The H1 header carries the most weight and generally sits at the top of the page. If you look at the Carpet Cleaners homepage, the main header is very prominent and includes the target keyword. Use similar keywords across all your titles to add relevance. As you can see, my targeted keyword is peppered across all titles. Here is an H2 type, another one here, here is an H3 and so on. Please note, there can only be one H1 header on your page, but you can use as many of the others as you want. As we've just covered the structure of the page, our next obvious step is to look at page content. To rank for your targeted keywords, you must now give your page some depth. What I mean by giving depth to your page is to create and add as much relevant content to it as possible. But remember what I said at the beginning of the video, 80% of it should be created around your primary service. This will serve two purposes. A, it will give visitors the information they need about your service once they land on your page without having to click elsewhere. And B, it will provide Google with everything it needs and more to rank your page. If you look at both of my clients' pages, you can see I need to keep scrolling down if I want to consume all the content available. This is content depth. But don't start creating content willy-nilly and add it to your page, hoping it will do the trick. The content you need to publish must be carefully thought through. Let's run through it. Before I do, if you liked the video so far, I would be grateful if you could hit the like button. Just see this as a small contribution to help me with my channel. Enough said. Going back to our homepage content. Starting from the top. I'm going to begin by stating some of the obvious elements most of you probably already have on their homepage your logo and your navigation menu. Generally placed on the top left hand side of your homepage, your logo is an important piece of your branding and should be consistent with the logo you use on other material such as your business cards, invoices, etc. and across all your digital assets like a Facebook page, a Google My Business listing and so on. Make sure it is linked to your homepage so whenever a visitor is on your site and wants to go back to where they started, they can do so by just clicking on your logo. This is standard practice and visitors nowadays expect this type of behavior on every site. Your menu should include links to your subsections and all the services you provide so visitors can navigate directly to the content they're interested in. Don't try being clever and give your menu link some fancy names. The best recommendation here is to try matching each link with the keyword you are targeting, like in this example for the Carpet Cleaning Services website. Remember, these links will be available across all pages of your site and will also be used as a signal by Google. If you look at a link and you don't know what type of content you're going to find before you click on it, I suggest you rename it. Let's move on to our next four features. Your main header, your main banner, your unique selling points and your call to action. I've already covered the main header in a previous chapter, but as a reminder, make sure you use an H1 HTML tag and include your targeted keyword in it. 
Most websites nowadays include a main banner, and I suggest you do too. The purpose of this is to visually communicate with your audience and give them a precise idea of what your business is about. In this case, there is no room for mistake. Anyone landing on this homepage will be able to figure out what this business is about in a nanosecond. I strongly suggest you use your very own picture instead of using stock imagery. It makes your site more personal. Anyone making an appointment with you would have already seen you before you go to their house, which is reassuring, and it also makes your page truly unique and authentic. In this example, we are also able to easily convey the fact this electrician is operating using all the necessary protection without having to write any additional information. I also like to add a breakdown of the unique selling points attached to this business high up on the page. It makes the business stand out against competition, helps visitors understand why they should get in touch with them, and it's also aesthetically powerful. It doesn't necessarily need to be right at the top, but near enough, just like in the carpet cleaning example. Last but not least, you must include a call to action on your page to encourage visitors to get in touch with you. The most popular form of call to actions are phone numbers, a request a quote button, or a book now button. It is imperative you make this call to action as visible as possible on your homepage as it is your money making machine. The most important thing you must remember is that it needs to be visible without visitors having to scroll down the page whether they're looking at your site on a desktop or a mobile phone. You want to give people the chance to call you or book an appointment without having to make too much of an effort. All these elements combined should help convince visitors to call you or at the very least wanting to find out more. If they do, here are some other content features I recommend you include to your page. Since your homepage is comparable to a shop window display, you can use it to communicate key messages to your visitors. On the electrician's homepage, you can see a very prominent red announcement telling visitors this business is taking all necessary precautions during the pandemic, which ties in very well with the main banner and will reassure customers. Right under it, there is a strong sales message informing visitors these electricians are able to solve 85% of emergency calls in less than one hour. Most customers are extremely cost sensitive when calling an emergency electrician, and this helps demystify the common belief it will burn a hole in their pocket. It's also yet another opportunity to add relevant content, which includes targeted keywords. As you scroll down, you can see two additional pieces of information. One helping visitors to find out if there has been a power cut in their area, and the other one about a change in electrical regulations for landlords. Why put that there? Because it is crucial to this business. The purpose of the first one is to help visitors find out if their electrical problem is specific to their house or due to a power cut in their area. This deflects unnecessary calls people might make at 3 a.m. and avoid wasting time altogether. The second is to capitalize on a new UK electrical safety regulation, which is time sensitive and could be very profitable. Although these examples are very specific to this business, the point I'm trying to make here is you can use your homepage for many purposes beyond ranking for keywords. Let's go back to more standard features you should add to your page. Consider adding a brief summary describing your business and services you provide, but keep the focus on your primary service. No need to go mad. A short paragraph should be enough. Remember to include variations of your targeted keywords. Any kind of qualification, certification, or affiliation with third-party organization that could add to your credibility is a great add-on. Our electrician is part of the British Gas Local Hero Scheme, which is the biggest and most recognized home service in the UK, while our carpet cleaner is part of the National Carpet Cleaners Association. The added bonus is that you can claim a link or a mention from these third-party websites back to your homepage, which will boost your visibility in search engines in the process. Consider adding prices related to your primary service directly onto your homepage, as it will help visitors make an informed decision quickly 
without having to search for it. In the example of our carpet cleaner, not only have I added a price list, but I have also integrated a cost calculator, which gives me the option to create and target additional keywords related to cost of carpet cleaning. List all other services you provide and link to their respective pages. You're not just a one trick pony and have many other strings to your bow. Remember, our homepage should focus 80% on your primary service. This is part of the other 20%. It will also help pass on some link authority from your homepage to the sub pages and for Google to understand these are important as they feature on your homepage. Add testimonials. Testimonials are very powerful. It's always reassuring to read others' experience before making a decision. TripAdvisor's business model relies entirely on reviews and testimonials. It's also a great way to add unique content to your page that is specific to your business. Showcase your skills by adding examples of work you've done in the past. It could be through images or videos, like in this example for our carpet cleaner. Notice how I have used examples of work done in specific areas of London and adding those keywords to the description reinforces the idea this business is located in London, which hopefully Google will pick up on. What are the most frequently asked questions your customers ask about your primary service? Add them to your page. This is such an easy piece of content to create as it should come straight from your client's mouths. A selection of four or five questions should help create a good chunk of content. Mention which areas you're able to serve. Be truthful. Do not list hundreds of areas as it won't serve any purpose and you won't rank for them. The idea here is to let people know how far you are willing to go, but also gives you the chance to create other pages of content on the back of it and later on rank for these but just only for the key ones and the closest to your business. I won't cover this topic here as it should be the subject of an entire video. If you run a blog, consider adding your latest post to your page. It will once again add relevant content, help Google crawl those pages and keep your page fresh with new content as you publish more articles. Add a Google map. If you're a brick and mortar business, it will show your exact location. If you are a service type of business, it will show the area in which you operate. Use your Google My Business listing map, not some random map based on your postcode. If you want to know how to do this, just watch my video, how to add a Google map to your website. The last content item is your footer. From a footer, your visitors generally expect to find standard links such as your contact us page, privacy policy, and terms and conditions, but also links to your social media profiles. I also add the business details, including phone number and operating hours. One last word before we leave. It takes time to create good content and patience to see the fruit of your results. So don't expect to rank number one overnight. Try implementing as many of the recommendations as I've talked about and it will pay off. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the like button. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, happy marketing.